Oh, what's going on, Smoke Breaks? Happy Saturday night here. Hope everybody's doing well. Having a good weekend. Jumping into some Diamond Kings here tonight. And we'll follow that up with some Marvel after this. So keep an eye out if you guys are coming back for that. We'd love to have you. Links up there. There we go. All right. Excelente. Hope everybody's having a solid weekend now that we're into May. May 1st, and hopefully your draft went well. I liked, I liked the uh, Packers draft. I, um, I didn't enjoy the rest of the discussion about the Packers, but I did enjoy the draft. So hopefully um, some more progress gets made on that end. But yeah, I don't know. I think it's just going to be the rumor train here for a while. So we'll see what happens. But keep the positive thoughts going as long as we can. But I'm sure it'll... Solve itself eventually, whether one way or the other. So, all right, give folks about another minute or minute and a half to make their way in if they would like to for Diamond Kings here, and then we'll hop into some baseball to get things started before we do some Marvel as well. Yeah, looking forward to it. Good luck to everybody. And may the wolf does ever be in your favor. Good luck to you. Hey, what's up, Chris? Good to see you, man. Happy Saturday. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Glad you could join us for some Diamond Kings. Good luck on the last spot mojo as well. Appreciate you closing us out. Jumping in here momentarily. Whoa, 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 Steve. We're not going to allow you in here if, uh, you know, you're talking these uh, ridiculous. We would need Derek Carr and, like, three first-round picks. We'll take Henry Ruggs, two, Josh Jacobs, and the entire defense. And then we'll give him Rodgers. <laughs> uh, Derek Carr is not even in the same realm of Aaron Rodgers. As he used to say, he couldn't sniff his uh, jock strap. On his best day, but uh, I am I am a, a car fan. Um, I just don't think he uh, is anywhere near the uh, plateau of the uh, greatest statistical quarterback of all time, as far as touchdown to interception ratio, um, consistency wise, and all of that stuff. So when he, when, when it's all said and done, um, I don't think anybody will ever come close to his um, touchdown to interception ratio. That will probably want to be one of those records that stands forever, as far as if there's a you know a minimum threshold, whether it's 50 touchdowns or whatever. But um, yeah, it's it's crazy. It's it's almost like eight to one. So next closest isn't even I think even half close. So it's it's. A pretty unreal stat if you haven't ever Googled that one, but um, it's just unreal. But he uh, hopefully can figure things out. Otherwise, like I said, I won't hold it against him if he, if he does does decide to take his talents to you know Jeopardy or another team or something like that. As long as it's not the purple and gold or the Bears, um, I won't really won't really you know hold it against him all that much. Uh, so I I definitely. Definitely get it when you're at the at the end there, but I, I I would think he'd want to come back to his buddies. He was with Bakhtiari today at the grand, at the uh, horse races. So I mean, I just can't imagine if you're really that wanting that bad to get out of Green Bay, you wouldn't be hanging out with people from Green Bay. You know what I mean? So it's just kind of, it's just a, a whirlwind of, of rumors out there right now. But um, we'll see what happens. So, but uh, yeah, so who knows? We'll see. I mean, they got to have something to talk about in the off season. So. Last year was COVID and Jordan Love, and this year we get to be the, the scapegoat again with all the Rodgers talks. So, yeah, we'll see. We will see. But 
All right, everybody ready? Let's jump on into some Diamond Kings. Good luck to everyone, and let's get it. Let's get it. Saturday night action. Gizmo is with us. He's trying to find his way onto the chair, but that's not going to happen. He's uh, got, got booted from the bedroom, so Tank is having some alone time with Christus, so he's looking for another lap to hop onto. Oh, nice. Nice, that's awesome. Chris, good to hear. And Vinny and uh, Zoe keep you busy over there. I love to see it. I love to see it. I love hearing the updates on, on how they're doing. So that is awesome. Emmett will have his first game, uh, not this week, but I think the following Monday, or the following Monday, I believe, is his first game. So it's coming up pretty soon. All right. Um, this will be the NL Central in the one spot. Uh, He's just playing coach pitch, but then they said at the end of the year they'll let the kids pitch for uh, a couple innings near the end of the season. So that'll be cool. Um, he's one of the younger kids, so he's playing with some kids that are bigger than him. Some of them are a lot bigger than him, but uh, he's he's enjoying it so far. So A lot of them are just learning the real basics because of COVID that kind of wiped out those years of learning. But AL East in the two spot. He got to play a little bit last year. Really just the rudimentary basics hitting balls off the tee and stuff like that, which he was used to already. So it's, it's the first year of the big the big stuff. All right, NL East in the three spot, but it's fun to watch. Poor kid on the first night of practice. He, uh, <laughs> one of his kids on his team played first base. Kids are throwing the ball over to him. One pelts him in the head. He goes down to the ground but gets back up. No tears or nothing. Next ball they throw over. You hear the noise of the ball hitting his nut cup, and the kid just crumbles to the ground. And I'm like, oh my god, this poor kid's not going to show up. He was there in the next practice. So, NL West in the four spot. That wasn't him and another kid on the team, but, oh man. I, I, it was, I had a really hard time not chuckling on the second one because it was just so brutal. I was like, oh man, I felt bad enough on the first one, but oh, it was just brutal. AL West in the five spot, but he's venturing on, which is awesome to see a pretty strong kid out there. Yeah, his first first real game, like like I said, they did some kind of like drills and they kind of played, you know, scrimmages and stuff last year, but it wasn't really anything serious, so he'll get his uniform and stuff this week and then I think they have their first game next Monday, so yeah, it'll be that'll be big time. AL Central in the sixth sixth spot. So I mean the coaches still help out and stuff in their coach pitch for the first three quarters of the season, but they're learning learning more and more and then Emmett'll get to play in this league one more time next year, so he'll be the big kid on campus next year, so yeah, he was the first one. He was trying to use his glove, but it wasn't, you know, like went like this. So your gloves right here, where you think you're gonna stop it, but then the ball comes by the side and it hit him in the head. And then on the second one, it was just like I think, I think it might have just come in too low. So he like had it, he thought it was up here and it came down. And you know, it was probably the first time he used his glove all year. But yeah, poor kid was way off and just taking him all over the place. But hey, yep. All right, we got our division set here, and we are going to jump on into the names here. Sorry to get sidetracked there. I had to share that because I thought it was pretty funny last week. NL Central, Joey. Good luck, Joey. Joey had an excellent first break with us here, landing a one of one, making it look easy in his first break. And all sorts of other nice stuff in there. Kyle Bushano. All right, next up we have six spot Nick S. AL Central. Nick getting his twins. There you go, Nick. Nicely done. The twins need a lot of help right now. A lot of help. All right, uh, next up we have the three spot in the pitching department, mostly. Three spot NL East, Zach. Mr. Zach NL East. Hey, what's going on, Goop? Good to see you, man. Happy Friday, or sa Friday, Saturday night. Excuse me. I know it's the weekend. That's all I know. Uh, Joey in the four spot, NL West, NL West, Joey got the NL Central and NL West, good luck to you, hope you're doing well, Goop, glad right, you can make it in, we've got Chris in the five spot, AL West, AL West, Mr. Chris, good luck to you, sir, all right, and last but not least, we have the AL East, going home to Nick, there you go, Mr. Nick. AL Central and AL East. Alrighty. Oops, there we go. Well, let's jump on into it. I'm going to throw divisions up. I will also get them posted here for everybody. 
And then we'll jump on in here unless there's any trades to be had. NL Central, Joey, AL East, Nick S, NL East, Zach, NL West, Joey, AL West, Chris S, and the AL Central belongs to Nick S. Nick S and Chris S going to keep me busy tonight here, making sure I got the right name in front. All right, appreciate everybody. I'm going to get those up there in the chat room for you, and then we'll slide on into some Diamond Kings baseball here tonight. Alrighty. There we go. All right. Steve, if you're still watching, you should uh, share my... I think I've shared it with the, uh, the group before when he was born, but you should share my nephew's uh, name there, his first and middle name. Chris will love it. Chris is a uh, Patriots fan there along with you. We have a few of them in the group. Um, those, those lucky, spoiled Patriots fans over there. Harry's another one of them, but uh, yeah, Chris will get a... Uh, kick out of that is Nick around um, I could text him uh, Chris let me send him uh, one here that is one I have access to I'm guessing you're looking for the AL East Chris was wondering if he could trade for the AL East and Chris you have the AL West all right I sent that over to him and there <laughs> my brother-in-law posted my nephew's name there, old Brady Thomas, the second coming of Thomas Brady there, just the other way around. But, uh, yeah, Brady just keeps on racking up those rings, so might as well give him the namesake of, you know, probably the greatest quarterback of all time. I don't think anybody will ever catch him, so I, can't, I find it hard to believe even Mahomes and stuff like that. It's just hard injury-wise and stuff like that. What else was I doing? Posting stuff in the chat room? Have I done that yet? Nope. All right. There we go. Me up. All right. And I've got a thumbs up on the trade there for you, Chris. So I did get that accomplished. And they could text me back. And we are good to go. So. Boom. A shakalaka. We will make that happen. So. We've got the uh, AL West switching spots with the AL East. All right. Chris grabbing his PC. And Nick sliding down to grab the AL West. Nicely done. All right. We've got that up there. It won't be reflected in the chat room, but I do have it on record there. Uh, and we should be good to go. Man, I've got those up as well. All righty. Yes, sir, you are very welcome. Yeah, my sister is unfortunately still a Vikings fan. She has not been converted yet, so. But uh, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. But, all righty. Good luck, everybody. I will do my very best. Uh, actually, Chris, I think that's impossible. I don't believe he signs in modern day Panini products. I think he might be in like Prism and stuff like that back in the day. Um, but I think he is exclusive to Tops now. I think they've they've signed him to an exclusive deal. So I should not be able to do that. Um, I believe I believe that's accurate. I want to say I'm like 95% sure. But uh, short prints and stuff, not I, you know, I could pull a one of one of them. So I, I probably shouldn't say that, but. I don't believe autos are possible in Panini products that I know of. The older ones, like I said, I, I know he's in, he's in prison because we used to open it just for that reason. Um, and he may be in some others, but I think in the modern stuff, he is not in there. But I, that's just like I said, I think that's, I think that's accurate. I know he's got relics, just not, no autographs. Right. I think he's one of those weird athletes that has that exclusive, kind of like Ben Simmons for Upper Deck. And uh, But that's just kind of one of those things. <clears throat> some players have them, some don't, but usually the big ones have something. You'd be surprised that more, more don't, really. Because I know Tatis Jr. has uh, autographs and earlier Panini products and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Just all about where you look. 
All right, 2020 Diamond Kings coming at you. And here we go. Good luck, everybody. I've been I've been wrong plenty of times, Chris, so don't take that to the bank, but I want to say that's accurate. Harmon Killebrew. Mr. Killebrew. Going to Nick. PC action. There we got Don Larson. I'll read it. Chris. Jonathan Daza. Rookie. We'll go home to Joey. Kristen Yellick. Joey. Hack Wilson. We'll go to Joey. Aaron Nola. We'll go to Zach. Kako has a deal with Panini and doesn't sign for D. Oh, geez, I didn't even know that. Does Panini, Panini doesn't even have hockey cards anymore, do they? I mean, they have the older ones, but they don't make new ones. Cal Ripken, the 3000. So how does that work? How does he have a deal with a company that doesn't produce hockey cards? That seems insane. Cal Ripken, 3000. I did not know that one. Thank you for Chris coming with the info, as usual. Cal Ripken, 3000. Went home to Chris. And Ozzy Smith will go to Joey. I did not know about that. But yeah, the exclusives do suck. I would agree with you. I would agree with you. So would a lot of Ben Simmons fans, for sure. All right. Next pack. Sam Hilliard, rookie. And that'll be Joey. And Carl Hubble. Chris. Vert Bly 11. Well, PC action for Nick. Carl Eschgrine. First grind going to Joey. He's on Diaz, rookie. Zach. Frank Baker to Zach. Jose L. Tuve in the T206 insert. That'll be Nick. And Jesus Lazardo, rookie. Alrighty, that'll also go home to Nick. Next pack up. Oh, really? They have new products? I guess I haven't even seen any of them, Chris. Oh man, I'm gonna have to look that up. With just two people, that's crazy. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad uh, Kaprizov doesn't have that because he's got stuff in upper deck, so that's good. Uh, Hank Greenberg, super expensive, but still good that it's out there. Hank Greenberg, we'll go to Nick. Kurt Schilling, Joey, Bill Terry, we'll go to Chris. Logan Allen, rookie, we'll go to Nick. Ty Cobb. We'll go to Nick as well. We have a gray border of one of the hottest players in the league right now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Shoei Otani. This guy is an absolute stud. Was leading the league in home runs, simultaneously dominating while pitching. It's just unreal to see a guy doing what he's been doing. Nice gray border there going home to Nick. Mr. Otani. Like that. And next up will be the Gallery of Stars of Christian Yellick. And that'll go to Joey. Ty Cobb with the all time Diamond Kings. To Nick. Alrighty. Next pack coming at you. Uh, Tris Speaker to Chris. Dustin May, rookie. Sounded like he might have gotten hurt today, which is unfortunate. Going to Joey. Eddie Stanky to Joey. Yogi Berra to Chris. Ketel Marte will go home to Joey. Randy Johnson to Joey. Yeah, it's really good to see him back and healthy and beast in it. Pete Rose. I would agree with you there, Chris. Pete Rose will go home to Joey. Jonathan Hernandez. Wind up with Nick S, the rookie on that one as well. Coming at you. We've got Joey Votto. And we'll go to Joey. Joey to Joey hookup. We like it. We like it. Joey to Joey. Christy Matheson. We'll go home to Chris. Pete Alonzo. That'll be Zach. Paul Bear Danny Mendick, rookie. We'll go to Nick. Jackie Robinson will end up with Joey. Zach Galen, rookie, to Joey. Aaron Judge, T206 to Chris. Nice PC. Schnee there, the Judge Meister. And Trey Mancini will go home to 
Chris as well. Alrighty. Next pack down. We got the rookie of Abraham Toro. Which will go home to Nick. Clayton Kershaw. Joey. Babe Ruth to Chris. Nice rookie of Robert here going home to Nick. Luis Robert rookie. We like that. Cody Bellinger. We'll go to Joey. And Joey's going to grab the Purple Border Buster Posey as well. There you go, Joey. Nicely done. Buster. We got Yadier Molina with the uh, Artist Palette. And that'll end up with Joey and all time Diamond Kings of Craig Biggio. To Nick. Alrighty. About halfway home. Hits are hiding so far, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Paul Goldschmidt and Jack Flaherty both going home to Joey. Jordan Alvarez rookie will end up with Nick. Jordan. There you go, sir. Buster Posey will end up with Joey. Mr. Aquino rookie. Aristides Aquino will go to Joey. Sir. Gray border of Hack Wilson. Hack Wilson will end up with Joey. Oh, upside down. My apologies. Hacking it up there. Mel Ott will go home to Chris. And the all time Diamond Kings of Ted Williams going home to Chris as well. Alrighty. Next one up. We got Billy Williams. We're going to go to Joey. Joe Sewell. That will be Nick. Lou Gehrig. And Dom DiMaggio. Both going on to Chris. We got Tyrone Taylor. Rookie. We'll go to Joey. Joe Jackson. We'll go to Nick. Nolan Orion, T206, will end up with Nick. And Juan Soto. We'll go to Zach. Juan Soto. All right, four packs remain. Half of them have hits here, ladies and gentlemen. The best of luck. And we got Madison Bumgardner. The Bumgardner. Going to Joey. Eddie Matthews. And Mel Ott again. They're both going home to Chris. Josh Rojas. Rookie. And we'll end up with Joey. Joe McCarthy to Chris. Bryce Harper will end up in the hands of Zach. Juan Soto, Gallery of the Stars. Look at one there. And going home to Zach. And Bob Feller, all time Diamond Kings, ending up with Nick. Alrighty. Two out of the three have hit here, ladies and gentlemen. Might have. Knock him to the bottom here. We'll see. Walter Alston and Tony Gonsolin, rookie. Both of those will go home to Joey. Joey DiMaggio. Joe DiMaggio going home to Chris. Charlie Keller to Chris. Pete Rose to Joey. Building the suspense here. I think they're the last two. Goose Gonsolin to Zach. Sweet Kirby Puckett here. Nick will love that. The aficionado of Kirby. Sweetness. And Francisco Lindor. Which will go to Nick. Alrighty. Yuppers. The last two packs have the hits. So best of luck everybody. And we're diving on in. This one looks pretty humongous. So good luck on it. Good luck on it. We've got George Brett in the zone. George Brett in the zone. Cool looking one there. Going home to Nick. Mike Trout. Nice snag. All time Diamond Kings there. Going to Nick. So, you know, Trout inserts and stuff, obviously, and are still game, but I don't believe autos are out there. Grover Alexander. We'll go to Zach. Aaron Savale, rookie. And Frank Thomas. Both going home to Nick. Mickey Cochran, 
And this one will end up in the hands of Zach. And before the first hit here, we're going to have Jordan Yamamoto. Jordan Yamamoto, rookie. Uh, that'll go home to Zach. And I got a feeling this one's going to be pretty nasty here, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to grab a one touch just to just to get prepared. I believe that'll be big enough, yeah. All righty. And this one is, like I said, very nasty. Numbered 4 out of 49. 4 out of 49. This is Mr. Brendan McKay with the beautiful, chunky, two-color RPA. Going home to Mr. Chris in the trade. There you go, Chris. Nicely done, my man. Out of 49. Beautiful. That is our shortest print RPA we've seen out of this year's product. Well, I guess last year's product, technically, since the new DK just came out. But Brendan McKay. Very nice. 4 out of 49 there, Chris. Nicely done, my friend. Sweetness, big stripe coming down the top patch there. If you can't see, and gray on the bottom. So three color, I guess, technically. Boom. Brendan McKay swooping in. Like I said, super thick on the package. And there you go. On a 49. We will take that for sure and see what we've got waiting for us here at the end. Nice start to the hits there, Chris. So done that last spot mojo lifting up to its name there. Alrighty. Oh, and the trade, I guess. So making all sorts of moves. Last pack mojo, everybody. Alrighty, let's get our other hit to the bottom there. And we have a artist palette of Aaron Judge. A nice stag there for the PC for Chris as well. Nicely, nicely done. Good double up there, Chris. We'll type that. And the all-time Diamond Kings of Tony Gwynn. And we'll go to Joey. Jake Rogers, rookie. To Nick. And we've got Roger Hornsby and Anthony Rizzo. Both going to Joey. Rookie of Domingo Leyba. We'll go to Joey. And before our last card, last hit here will be Mr. Jimmy Fox. Jimmy Fox will go home to Chris, and this is going to be Mr. Max Muncy with the Jersey Kings patch going home to Joey. And there you go, Joey. Nicely done, Mr. Max Muncy with the Jersey Kings patch there, my friend. And continuing the hot start in your start here at Smoke Breaks. You've yet to go a break without a hit, so that is always a good thing. May the streak continue, my friend. All right, mark that bad boy up there. We do have a couple of giveaways here at the end before we slide into some Marvel here in just a little while. And let's see what we got. We need to take out the... Joey just snagged that with the NL West. So we gotta take those two out quickly which is the AL East and the NL West. Alrighty, and good luck everybody on the rest. Right. And first up here, we've got going home to the NL East, which is Mr. Zach. Mr. Zach, I'll show you what you're grabbing here, my friend. A little lot with a nice shiny piece at the end. Salvador Perez. This is Charlie Blackman. Some old school. Jose Canseco. Hugh Darvish out of prism. Ryan Dull and Alex Presley out of Heritage. Tim Anderson out of Allen and Ginter. And a very nice refractor out of Topps Chrome. Of Mr. Ronald Acuna Jr., who's been crushing it as well. Ronald. And there you go, Mr. Zach. That is all yours there, my friend. And one more go through here. Good luck, everybody. And we have the AL Central, which will be Nick. And Mr. Nick. We'll be grabbing the Ryan Cook autograph out of the Panini product, 35 out of 299. Ryan Cook, there you go, Nick. Nicely done, my friend. 
big old chunky autograph, rated rookie. Ryan Cook. And there you go. Nicely done, my friend. And that concludes that piece of things. 2020 Diamond Kings. Very nice box, like I said. Um, and we got some Marvel to come, Marvel Ages. So if you want to stick around for that, you're more than welcome to come on back. Do that here in about um, about 10 or 15 minutes or so, as usual. Get some photos up of Diamond Kings in the meantime. And we'll swoop on into that. So come on back if you can. And we'll see you all very shortly if you are able to. If not, have a good rest of your Saturday night and see you soon.